Tay and I'm back with another video. Um, today's video is one that, oh my bun is a little crooked. Alright, so today's video is one that I've contemplated doing for a while and it's gonna be balling on a budget. Okay, so as you guys know, your girl is a broke college student. So I'm just gonna like give you guys some um, places and tips and stuff on how I buy my stuff and where I buy it from and how much it costs. Cause I get like a lot of comments on my stuff. I'm not gonna say like I have a lot of cute stuff, but I do get like some comments on my stuff. And I'm just gonna give you guys, show you guys and tell you guys where I get my most complimented stuff from. So let's just jump right in. We're gonna start with shoes. My shoes, I have no name brand shoes. If I was to take you guys through my closet right now, you wouldn't see a single pair of name brand shoes. But believe it or not, I actually get a lot of compliments on my shoes. So I'm going to show you guys my top three pairs that I get the most compliments on. And my first pair cost maybe between, uh, between, <laughs> between $10 to $20 because I know I don't pay that much for my shoes. So um, I'm going to show you guys. This pair right here is um, my most complimented shoes. And I got them from like maybe it's Fashion Metro or something like that. And they cost between 10 to $20. And they are like suede and they're really nice and they're really comfortable. Like because it has like a really like nice size sole on them. And I get a lot of compliments on these. People sometimes think they're uh, like the legit Rihanna shoes that she uh, has but um I have no shame in telling people where I get my stuff from so I always tell them like no girl these came from it's fashion metro and they're always like I need to give me some <laughs> so these have to be my most complimented shoes because I don't know they're cute um my second pair is a pair that I got recently that I actually broke one so um disclaimer these shoes are not meant for long wear but they are cute because I wore them the whole time. Well, like, I would rephrase that. I wore them all day on Thanksgiving. And if I ever figure out how to insert pictures, I'll insert the pictures where I wore for Thanksgiving. But I wore these shoes all, I wore these shoes all day on um, Thanksgiving. And they were actually pretty comfortable. And they did not break. They broke, like, maybe three weeks ago when I went on a school trip with the choir to rehearse. And I stepped in something sticky on the floor. And when I pulled my shoe, it broke. It broke the sole of the shoe. So, um, these shoes are actually a knockoff of a very, like, expensive pair of shoes. They're, like, platform, and these are the rose gold ones. I actually get a lot, I actually got a lot of compliments on these shoes, and they were $10, um, at a hand-me-down store. It's, like, where the clothes that are on sale, if they don't sell, like, after they're on the sale price, they send them to the store. So, I've actually got, like, shoes, clothes, and a lot of stuff in there. These shoes were only ten dollars, and I get a lot of comp I got a lot of compliments on them. I haven't worn them since I broke them. And my last pair are these off-brand Birkenstocks that I got from um, Rainbow for twelve dollars. So I do not spend a lot of money on my shoes, and it kind of helps because I don't really wear tennis shoes that much, and I can excuse me, and I can always find like a cheap pair of sandals or those type of shoes anywhere. So those are my shoes i don't spend a lot of money on them just right there i think i, I showed three pair of shoes for thirty dollars bam can't beat it <laughs> um a item that i got recently i'm gonna move over to this purse now a item that i got recently this purse i got this purse from walmart for 22 dollars before taxes and it's actually really nice it has this strap only thing about it is this strap does not come off so if you have you want to carry it like this, you have to like stuff the strap into your purse. But it actually has like a three compartment, has a zipper. This purse, I love it. And I got this purse for $22. People, when I tell them, they're like, how much did you pay for that? I'm like, $22. And they're like, I'm going to go get me one. Yes, you guys. I don't pay a lot on anything. I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, What else did I want to show you guys? Did I have, oh, I have this necklace that everyone thinks is really nice. Let me show you guys. Oh, here's my earrings and stuff. I got this necklace for my birthday, but this girl, I know where she bought it from. She bought it from Walmart. And this is the necklace. I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen this necklace in Walmart. It's like the alphabet necklaces. And it 
you just get it whichever one you want i got a lot of compliments on that one and i don't know how much she paid for it because i didn't buy it somebody bought it for me but i know it didn't cost that much because my roommate also has a, um come to me alphabet alphabet um bracelet and my other friend so i know they're not that much and i get a lot of compliments on um this necklace last not, not lastly oh so i couldn't find like the small tubes of this perfume i got but i got it from bath and body Works, and you guys never never pay full price for anything because eventually they're going to run a sale to get customers in and that is the perfect time to buy it so i think i paid twenty dollars for four small size like maybe like this to us perfumes from bath and body works and i got four and i got another one of these because this is my favorite one and it was running out but i got four perfumes for twenty dollars from bath and body works and it lasts all day <laughs> like i've had this bottle for probably a year or something now and it's just now getting to the last little spritz and it's been like down here for about a month and i use this every day and it's still this much in here so if that says anything and lastly my life proof case Oops, that's up, that's up, my life proof case people always ask me how much did i pay for my life proof case and i'm going to tell you guys i pay under ten dollars for my life proof case because the only thing you have to do is warranty your case out life proof doesn't act and i'm not telling you guys like i'm not encouraging you guys to go to go do this but i'm just going to tell you how i got mine i warranty somebody else's case out and life proof don't ask, does not ask for any proof of purchase information so i warranty somebody else's case out and when this case came in they gave it to me because their case was perfectly fine and since um and since life proof has a lifetime warranty you can never like out warranty your case so when i get like when this case starts messing up i'm going to warranty this case out and get another one and it's only like six something and you get a like really nice protective sturdy case for six dollars but it has the quality of like a hundred dollar case because that's how much the case originally costs so that's about all if you want to pay a hundred dollars for a case all means you you but I would never pay a hundred dollars for um, a case that's probably explains what my phone screen look like it does now um but that's about it like this is my falling on a budget. If you want to see more, um, I'll do more. I just did like the basic stuff that people mostly compliment me on. I get a lot of compliment on shoes, so I did my shoes. Um, I get a lot of compliments on my case, so I just showed you how I got, where I got my case. And that purse, that purse gets a lot of compliments. So I showed you. I just showed you stuff that I get a lot of compliments on. I also get a lot of compliments on my clothes, but that's just too much, and I hate changing clothes i hate like taking like taking off clothes and putting on more clothes i don't know i don't try on clothes at the store if i can't if i get to my house and i don't like it i just keep it give it away or throw it in the trash or give it to somebody else and i don't have money like that but that just shows you how much i hate trying on clothes so um i'm not gonna do clothes sorry i'll probably if you want me to i'll probably do like some pictures and some clothes that i already have on i mean worn in the past and people gave me a lot of compliments on but doing a video like where i'm actually switching out outfits no not gonna happen um that's about it if you guys want more well, i already did the one on my college tour so i, I mean on my college dorms the balling on a budget for that one i didn't name it balling on a budget for it but i already did it i'm rambling I, i'm done thanks you got thank you guys for watching like share comment i know i've been going for a while but mwah.